identify 15 over 8, or 15 eighths, as a proper or improper fraction. So proper fraction just means that the numerator is equal or less than, or less than or equal to the denominator. So proper fraction, numerator, the numerator, the number on top, is less than or equal to the denominator. And an improper fraction, in an improper fraction, the numerator, the numerator is greater than the denominator. And we see in our example right here, our numerator is greater than our denominator. So we are dealing with, we are dealing with an improper fraction. Now, a more interesting question is what does 15 eighths even represent? So let's think about that a little bit. Let me, we saw in the last couple of videos that the denominator tells you essentially how many slices of pie there are, I guess is one way to think about it. So let me draw, let me draw something with eight. Let me divide something in, maybe we could view this as a square pizza or a square pie of some kind. So let's say that's the, the entire pie. I'm dividing it into, well, that would be dividing it into two. That would divide it into four. And then to divide it into eight, I'd be just like that. So this would be a, a, one whole pie. Now, what does one of these boxes represent? What does that box right there represent? Well, we've seen this is one of the eight total pieces of pie. So this represents this represents one eighth. Now, if I were to shade in in blue, let's say in, sh in blue I were to shade in this box and that box right there. And I were to say, what fraction of my pie is shaded in blue? Well, you'd say, I have two boxes shaded in blue, one, two. I have two boxes shaded in blue out of a total of eight boxes. Out of a total of eight boxes. This is These two right here are 2 eighths, two eighths of the entire pie. Or another way to think about it, another way to think about it, this is equal to two of these pieces, right? So you could say this is also equal to two times one eighth. Because each of these boxes, each of these boxes right here is one eighth. We saw that right there. It is one of the total eight pieces. And so this two of the eight, that's really just two of these one eighth, bo one -eighth boxes. Now, if everything I've just said makes sense, let's think about what 15 eighths mean. So if you imagine these boxes like that, let's try to do 15 eighths. So if you were to draw, so that's 1 eighth right there. I'm going to do the same size as these boxes. And let me copy and paste this. So let me copy, and then let me paste. So then that's that would be 2 eighths. Let me do 3 eighths, and then 4. We're going to go all the way up to 15. Hope it doesn't bore you. That is 5, 6, 7, 8. And now we've made a whole pie, but we're only at 8. We have to get to 15. So then we, let's keep going. So then we're going to start another pie. So it's 1, 2, 3. So so far, how many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, and 15. So what have I just drawn here with all these these pink, with all of these pink squares? Each of these is 1 8. Each of these boxes is 1 8 of a pie, I guess is how you could think about it. This is 1 8. And I've just drawn 15 times 1 8. So all of these combined, all of these combined are 15 times 1 eighth. Or we could say that this is also equal to, if we just use the logic we did before, 15 over 8. Now, how many pies do I have here? Well, these first 8 of the 15, this right here, this right here, that is 8 out of 8, or 8 1 eighths. And that's equal to one whole pie. So this right here is equal to 1. That right there is equal to 1. And what do we have over here? We have one whole pie, eight out of eight of pieces of a potential pie, or eight out of eight one eighths of a pie, I guess you could call it. And then over here we have seven eighths of a pie, right? You can imagine a whole pie would would it involve another grid right there. 
would involve one more over here. But this is 7 out of the 8. So this right here, let me do this in another color, this piece right here represents 7. 7 times 1 8, or 7 8. So if you were to say what 15 over 8 kind of represents, it represents one whole pi and then 7 eighths of another pi. And you can even write that down as a mixed number. And it's a mixed number because it has a whole number and a fraction. So this is equal to 1 whole pi. This is equal to 1 whole pi right there, and 7 eighths of another pi. And 7 eighths of another pi. And that's all it represents when you think about what 15 eighths means. Now, I had to draw it out like this, but a, a quick way you can do to solve this is to divide 8 into 15. So if you were to take, let me do this with new colors. So if you were to take 8 right there, you divide 8 into, you divide 8 into 15. You divide 8 into 15. You see that it's equal to, well, 8 goes into 15 one time, because 2 times 8 is 16, so that's too big. So 1 times 8 is 8. You subtract 15 minus 8 is 7 is 7. So to get 1 and 7 eighths, this one right here, so you get one whole 8 in there. If you have 15 eighths, you get a whole 8 in there, and then you have 7 left over. But these are 7 eighths. So that's where that 7 eighths come from. You have to write the remainder over 8. Hopefully you found that helpful.